option assumes that NetBeans has already been installed on the machine and the GNU Kampala collection version 9.2 or newer is also installed on the machine. The demonstration is using a standard Ubuntu desktop environment. However, the process should be pretty similar on other Linux distributions or possibly even on other operating systems as well. So you can start NetBeans either from a terminal or from the main menu and once NetBeans starts up, you can discard the start page. Uh, we are going to be creating a new C++ project. If you're using NetBeans over and over, you might have several projects here listed. So let's create a new project. We are going to be creating a C++ project and we're going to be creating a C++ application, which is basically a console application. You can give it a project name. In my case, I'm going to give it test project. You can store your project files in different locations by clicking on the Browse button so you could save your project files on a network attached storage or a net disk or some other shared location if you choose to. Here we're going to use C++11 as the preferred language. And you can have different compilers, C++ compilers installed on the machine. In our case, we're going to use the default GNU compiler for this project. Click on the Finish button and the default project files will be created. In order to ease running the project from a terminal, the suggestion is to go into the properties for the project and in the linker tab, make sure that the output is not going into subdirectories, but just in the same folder or directory as the main project. So remove everything else and just leave the name of your output executable there. Click the OK button. Now let's go do some small modification to the template source file that was generated for this project just to do something simple. In our case, we're going to just print some a standard message on the console. So in my case, I'm going to just print a hello world. Onto the console. And once you've typed your program, if there are any compiler errors and such, it'll show up. So you can make sure your program builds. So you can see all of your build logs. And if there are any error messages, it'll show up here and also be highlighted by NetBeans on your editor panel. You can run your program by clicking the Run button. So there you go, you click the Run button, and it'll run. And you'll be able to see the output from your program. You can also run your program from, the, from a terminal window. For this, you will have to know where your project has been saved. So again, you could go to the properties of your project, go to your general tab, and here is my project location, NetBeans test project. So you can start up a terminal, change your working directory into that project space, and you will see your executable right there, test project, and you can just run it from the terminal test project and you will see the output. If you were to wanted to know some of the timing information or to see how fast your program is running, you can use the USR bin time command along with your test project, along with your executable. It'll run your program and print summary information. If you want more detailed information, you can add the dash verbose flag and you'll get detailed information on the runtime of your program. So this is how we're going to use NetBeans for programming in C++ and running programs both from within NetBeans and also from the terminal for performing tests and making different kinds of measurements.